Mixing can feel overwhelming with so many choices to make and so many tools that are accessible. But what if you could nail down your mix by using four sliders? In this video, I'm sharing my macro preset that I designed, that I use for stereo mixes and Atmos mixes, cutting down on my mixing time and helping me get the energy and the vibe of the mix down fast. If you guys stick around to the end of the video, I'll walk you through how you can download this and access this for yourself. This is Alex from Alex Pro Mix. Let's go! Hey guys and welcome back. This is Alex from Alex Pro Mix. I am really, really, really excited to share this video with you guys. I published a short reel on Instagram a couple months ago and it went viral on how I use Saturn and my personal macro preset to get mixes done faster. Since then, I've been using this macro on everything. Stereo mixes, Atmos mixes, country, Afropop, Afrobeats, pop, rock, alternative, any kind of music, any genre of music, and it actually works. The purpose I'm creating this video is because I want to show you guys how you can improve your mixes by using only a few controls. At the end of the video, I'll give you guys instruction on how you can download this macro for yourselves. However, it only works on Saturn 2, so if you're a fab filter user, you guys can get this free. All right, guys, without further ado, let's check out the macro and I'll walk you guys through how I use it. Come on. So there's four sliders. The first one is called Headroom or HR, and it basically links the input and the output, and it sounds like this. When the sliders turn all the way up, you have little headroom, which means you get a lot of crunch and saturation. When this is dialed all the way down, you get a lot of headroom, you get a really clean, open sound. Now, mind you, this will sound differently based on the saturation type that you select here, but that's the default setting. Dynamics does two things. It increases the dynamics control, which actually squeezes the track, and it also increases the saturation. When I dial that up, you'll see that these two parameters are linked, and it sounds like this. Now this is what I use for compression. I no longer use a compressor like an 1176 or LA-2A or R-Comp or Pro-C. Those are all great tools. I have a rack of compressors behind me, but this is what I use for compressing tracks, whether it's instruments, percussions, whether there are voices, if they are raw, unprocessed, multi-track vocals, this is my go-to compressor. There are no attack and release settings. There are no ratio settings. It's just one slider, you increase it, you overdrive it, and then you dial it back. And you guys will hear that in the audio demonstration. Then there's output because obviously when you increase this, you get a lot of uh, you know, uh, uh, gain makeup. So to compensate for that, you have the output slider right here and then mix. So really it's just these four sliders. Now, the other thing that you guys will watch and see me do is play around with the tone controls. These are not fixed to any uh, frequencies because this is a multi-band unit. So, I mean, if I create a band, you know, these, these uh, low bass, mid, treble, and presence will shift. But for the most part, I use it as a single band. I use this macro, and that's how I get 99% of the sound that I want. Now, there is a catch. It's really important to use an EQ before this Saturn macro because this adds so much saturation. A lot of times it adds a lot of low end information to the mix. And so you want to control that by using an EQ before it. And so what I typically do in my session, I have a track template or track preset. I load up, it loads up EQ and Saturn, and I start to mix. Now, when working with vocals, I often find times that I need to you know, DS or de-rumble the voice afterwards. So in that case, I'll load up something like a quartet. And this is dynamic EQ. I'm going to control the S's. I'm going to control the rumble. But most of the sound is coming and being generated here. This is the tone control. This is like how I'm able to get my mixes, my musical ideas uh, in the mix much faster by just using this. Cool. So that's, that's as much talking as I'm going to do. I'm going to try to do very minimal talking. But I will explain uh, as much as I can without getting in the way. 
Let's start this mix from the top and let's see how we can improve it. All right, here we go. All right, cool. So let me stop right here and explain a little bit of what my thought process is, because I think this might be helpful for you guys and uh, what I'm listening for. So, for example, let's take a look at the uh, these two tracks that play, you know, there's kind of like a little bit of a call and response. 
Yeah, they play together. Cool. If you take a look here, for example, on the guitar went with warm tape. I left it alone. That's my starting point on the macro. I just increased the dynamics, which squeezes the track, and I boosted a little bit of the high mids. And on the piano, um, I yo I yoast. <laughs> I used a different saturation, which is clean tube. Uh, all these saturation types sound different. They really do. So, uh, but my favorite, my go-to are usually warm tape and clean tube. Occasionally I'll go to like transformer if I want it to be very mm, transparent, if that's a thing in saturation. And then amp, if I really want to like change the tonality of it. And these are like, it's just crazy. So. Let me see. So I did that on the guitar and then on the piano, I boosted up more of the high. So on the guitar, what I was hearing was like more like the body. And then the piano is more like that, you know, bring, you know, that just high end, you know, like shimmer. And then obviously with that, just rebalancing it in the mix with the faders. So. And that's it. So basically, that's kind of like the thought process. Also, you'll see that I am uh, reducing some EQ before Saturn because boosting the dynamics or squeezing the dynamics and boosting the saturation and boosting the high mids or whatever frequency that is, like some of these things just kind of get too much in the mix. They get too built up. So either using a, um, a static cut or a dynamic cut uh, usually works out. So let's continue. Um, the drums. Nothing there. Oh, the congas, so the percussions. So I love this, just boosting up the low mids. I do it a lot on just about everything. Anything that needs a little bit more body, a little bit more umph, dialing down the output and dialing down the mix if it sticks out too much. And then obviously, like uh, when I'm mixing, I use my control surface to A, B the mix, like my live mix is here. And then the um, stereo reference or demo mix is here. And I can quickly toggle between those two on the right side of my control surface i can toggle between my mains and then my b monitors which are in the back they're a pair of ik eye louds and that's basically it just kind of i'm constantly doing like this reality check as i'm mixing but let's continue let's go from the top here we go Cool. Let's try it on the backing vocals now. See what we can get out of it. And you'll notice that I've gone through and done some edits. Cruising with my best friend. Hand on the knee. So you start to hear like these bad edits, like right there, and then the mouth noises. And so because I'm using Saturn to really compress the voice and really squeeze a lot of to tone out of it, I find myself doing a lot of edits. Uh, not just with the EQ, but actual edits on the track. So, you know, I'll do this kind of thing. And, you know, there's no way around that. Oops. There's no way around that. It's just kind of like the uh, custom pop over process sound without the nasty artifacts that you get from compression. You have to go into the track and edit those things out. Um, I'll also use uh, mouth declick. I use it a lot, especially on voices whether they're processed or not processed. In this case, they have been processed. This is for an Atmos mix. But let's go ahead and continue. That's just kind of a quick um, a visual thing that I wanted to point out there. Here we go. Well, Actually, what I want to do, and I didn't really plan on this, but I think you guys will benefit 
from this is actually do a AB. So what I'll do is I'll basically select these tracks, which are not many. We'll mute the voice. And um, I'll just do a quick, like, you know, uh, bypass active. Um, again, not everything is playing at the same time. I guess I'll go into this busy section. But hopefully you guys can hear uh, an improvement. All right, here we go. So yeah, without remixing the whole song or rebalancing everything, which I would still go through and, you know, properly check against the original mix and make sure that the right priorities are set in place as far as balance. What I hear as an improvement, especially on the drums, is that they just, they, they're, it doesn't sound like a flat mix. A flat mix sounds kind of like everything's even, but nothing, everything is balanced, but there's no excitement about it. And so just by doing these small moves with the macro, by applying a little bit of EQ and uh, saturation and dynamics control across the important parts of the mix, at least the parts that really stand out, like the guitars, the piano, the percussions, all those little small changes make an overall presentation improvement. So hopefully you guys learned a lot, not just about this macro preset. I know that this is confined to just fab filter saturn and like i mentioned i don't have an affiliation with them i'm not getting any money by promoting this or by you know uh, producing this video it's really me like i've developed this workflow that works for me and i can get through a lot of mixes whether they're stereo mixes or atmos mixes fast without loading up a bunch of plugins or thinking about what kind of compression i want but just by using these four sliders the graphic eq and then obviously by using balance and then EQ before it, it, it allows me to get the vibe of the mix down quickly and not think about the technicalities of what, what frequency I should be boosting or cutting. Now, mind you, this is just to get the, the, the impression of the mix down quickly. You know, with a multi-track mix, with a stereo mix, there's hours spent on vocal editing, tuning, timing, all that stuff, building the effects. That's all part of the mixing process. But this helps me to get the tone and the vibe down quickly. So I want you guys to download this preset. If you guys are a Fab Filter uh, user, if you guys own Saturn, I invite you guys to download this macro preset. I'll leave a link in the video description below. You guys can download it, open it, import it into your favorite DAW, import it directly into Saturn. This is where you do it. So you're going to go into Saturn. You're going to click on Options and choose open other preset once you do that it will show up and then you guys can save it rename it and basically it's going to look like this with the four sliders and you guys can get to town start using it come back to this video please after you use it and let me know if it's working out for you the whole purpose i produced this video was because i saw that there was a lot of hype around it when i published it on instagram but then i walked my assistant engineer through my mixing workflow and he started using it and once i saw the result i was like i need to tell people about this all right with that i sign off thank you guys so much for your time and thank you guys so much for watching my name is alex from alex pro mix if this is your first time watching this, I invite you to subscribe, like, and comment on this video. If you've been a, a long-term subscriber, please share this video with a friend, a producer, or an engineer who might benefit from this. Thank you guys so much. Till next time. Peace.